Hey guys, Neo Mr. Now for today's video, it's time to talk about the Arsenal game. That's right, Southampton nil, Arsenal two. Arsenal get the win. I'll be giving my thoughts on that. Eddie and Ketty are uh, Joe Willock. Also, like you got, you gotta be happy about this. Come on now, come on Arsenal. So I'll be giving my thoughts on that. But until then, please remember continue to subscribe to the channel. It does help the channel out. Please like the video, leave your comments. Really want to just get a discussion going now. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Now, okay, I got the score prediction wrong. Arsenal 2, Southampton 0. I knew he was going to get the win. I never doubted it. As you can see, I can't, I can't even keep a straight face because I knew this was going to be a tough game. But the young guns, Eddie and Ketia, Joe Willock, they come out, out and they just make it easy. They make it easy. Such a good game. So many, like, if you follow me on my Twitter, and that's at AFC Neomis, throughout the whole game, I was just talking about the good praise about Eddie and Ketia and how hard he was working. He's tracking back. Sometimes he would drop into midfield and intercept. Really, really good. That I had so much, so much praise for Eddie uh, in this game. And you know what? He deserved a goal. Like, he was, as he defined it, a real nuisance towards the defenders and the goalkeeper when he scored the goal. Worked hard, got the goal that he wanted. And then Joe Willock. Who would have thought? Joe Willock. First Premier League goal. I want to make this clear because he has scored goals before for Arsenal. But it's the first goal for the Premier League for Joe Willock. Um, for, for Eddie and Ketia, it's what? I think they said it was five goals in seven starts. Uh, for Eddie and Ketia when, when he started for Arsenal and I think they're talking about all competitions for Eddie and Ketia because I don't believe his stats are that good to where it's just five of the last games he scored but I believe it's five starts that he scored and I thought he was really good today but let's check out the stats so the, the look at the stats okay Southampton had more possession 52% possession towards 78 uh, 0.8 percent possession uh we had 10 shots five were on sorry 10 shots five were on target and we scored two goals that's exactly what we should be seeing not that those stats are what we saw against city where we literally had three on target sorry three shots zero on target and no goals just unacceptable the performance that we put in today much better Passes, uh, we had a 76.8% passes. That's one thing I thought our passing was a bit weak, um, particularly by our midfield players. Uh, for me, Sabayos and uh, who, who else was it? Uh, Jaka. I thought they could have done better with their with, with a lot of their passing. Just thought it just lacked just accuracy, to be really honest. Uh, and then, you know, even though they tried hard, like a lot of the time, Southampton, when they pressed, they did manage to get the ball from us quite a bit but um still you know 76 is okay for the premier league that's probably uh, a bit low i mean southampton had 80 which you know shows on how much better their passing was compared to ours in terms of the attacking third passing was was pretty good 65 percent key passes southampton had eight uh, arsenal had five you know that's something we've got to improve on it's just it needs to be better it needs to be better, just not good enough. Uh, attack, clear-cut chances. We had two, scored two chances from that. Uh, what else? I mean, so far, pretty good, solid performance. But I got to talk about, I mean, obviously, I've talked my praise about Eddie, but Martinez. Now, I have not been a fan of Emiliano, Mar Emiliano Martinez. <sighs> I mean, where do I even get started? I've... I've seen Martinez from way back years ago when, you know, this is with the Reading game that we play where we won, well, I think it was 7-3 seven, seven, in the end or 7-4 in the end and Martinez was in goal and ever since then I haven't trusted him. But today in this game, I thought he had a really good solid performance. His, uh, his delivery was really good. There was one chance where he tried to set up a Bamiyang. Uh, literally, he got the ball. I turned my head for a second. The ball is all the way to Abamyang, and Abamyang is 
is close to almost scoring a goal. Very, very close. And that's, that's what you want from a keeper, to be able to spot signs like that and to be like, I'm going to execute. And that's what Martinez did. Then there's Saka, who I thought had a really good performance as well. Again, continuing to show his consistency, track backed all the time, tried to create chances, did really well at doing that. I mean, just a really good, solid player. I get, this was a game that I still continue to be impressed by him. 18 years old and performing at the level of consistency as he has done so far, just super, super impressed. Another one I was really impressed by was Kieran Tierney. I thought the way how he was playing was not like your traditional left back, but a lot of times he was slotting in to help Rob Holden, who was man of the match, by the way, uh, in, uh, in defense as well. And he was a massive part of that. Now, I know he got a bit injured uh, later on at about 65, 70 minutes into the game. Uh, that looked like more of a muscle injury, just kind of a pulled muscle. But I thought he had a pretty good, solid performance in this game. Now, I mean, overall, the only player that I would say that I have any kind of criticism for had to have probably been Bellerin. Now, in the first half, and this is I can only criticize him in the first half because he may started the game off so badly, wasn't tracking back, positionally was just all over the place. I remember thinking like all the times that people criticize Bellerin and people like me have been, you know, back in the guy, be like, oh, he's not that bad. But positionally in the first half, just completely out of position. Like when there's chances after he's done his little attacking part and things break down, he doesn't get back quick enough, which means that the left wing are, are on Southampton had all the space to do whatever it is that they want. And if it wasn't for his pace, like they could have potentially have done more. So that, and there was so many chances that were like that where I'm like Bellerin, please stay back defend that's your first and primary thing that you need to do and i just think that there were so many times where he kind of lost that uh so that's one thing that i just think that he does need to work on a bit um but yeah but overall a really good solid performance from the boys i mean two nil a clean sheet a way clean sheet what can you really say so congratulations to the arsenal now, guys, as fans, it's time to rally up behind the team. We've got the win, an away win. Let's see if we can get another win. I think we got Norwich next, so um, I'll be probably doing a preview on that as well. But until then, I will see you all later. Peace.